be the second on the first day basically we just put in a April air media cleaner whole house cleaner on this system here the bigger one and now we have to do it on the smaller we did a PM on this one while we were here and we'll do a PM on this one today um, and I didn't have my shop back with me the other day so we just went ahead and popped the top and we're gonna clean this one out just the debris in there anyway so let's go ahead and get started uh, so we got a couple things we got to do today so let's we're gonna have to build a transition probably for this April air cleaner where this one it wasn't that bad I'll give you a shot of this one and then we'll give you a shot of this one too as we're doing it Five five here, so we'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure thirty five five. Thirty five five. Yeah. So we're good. We're good on the cap. We just had this return duck right here, just slap dab up against this uh, wooden support here underneath the unit. So what we did, they wanted to add this air cleaner here. I believe this is a four inch, yeah, four inch filter. And so what we did was we came off our wood structure here with kind of a transition and then we just put a full size box on the back side here for our return to hook to and that's pretty much it on this one uh, he's got a second unit 
that we've already and we got we're doing the PM on this one now. He's got another one we already did a PM on and I already put a filter on that unit. And let's take let's take a look and see take a look at it. If I can get the light. Yeah, here we go. So this is the one we did a couple days back. This one, uh, just real quick. Here's your apple layer there. And basically what we did, we just fastened it. Back up here, we just fastened it to the unit. And then we just basically just trimmed off some of the uh, duck board, reinstalled it. Um, I had another issue with this unit. It was it was making a lot of uh, velocity noise at the return register of that box right there. So what we're going to do is about right here we're going to tap in and bring another uh, return line there from another part of the house back over there so we can lower the velocity to our only return grill right here which is about a 24 by 24 which is way too small for this unit. This unit's a four ton up here. So we're definitely uh, pulling, I mean, it's whistling really, really bad. So we're gonna get, uh, we got that. That's not gonna be today though. Um, but anyway, just another thing on this one, the pan switch itself, uh, it tested out to be bad on the PM. So the, uh, the owner actually went and bought another one of those and just wired it in. He said he could do that, so I said fine. So uh, that that concluded that one. The PM went pretty good. Uh, free on levels and everything looked fine. So that was one of the April Air installs we did. Air filters, and uh, like I said, here's a second one. So we're gonna. Now that we've got this one finished up here and screwed all up and everything, we're going to go and uh, put some uh, 321 on it and all our cracks and everything and get it all good and sealed up for. And then we'll come back with some insulation. We're going to insulate this piece and this piece here and that back side where the duct connects. And then we'll... All right, we got this one buttoned up, insulated. And all fastened and all that. Pretty good looking job. Okay, we got PM done. He was about four degrees subcooling. This particular unit here. We need a 11 degrees subcooling. carrier here so took about a pound got them up to 11 degrees 11.2 to 11.